Firstly, guys, I'm going to teach you how to make one of these. This looks like a sausage, kind of. Um, it is just a pair of geek trousers stuffed with old t-shirts and things like that. And you can use it to swing and break things at the same time. Be careful that there are not things around you. Um, I apologise for the laughter in the background. That is my assistant who doesn't want to come on camera yet, but she'll be on there later. Um, so we're going to swing you down, you can swing around, and I'll show you just how you can use this in a minute. But for, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So guys, I'm going to teach you how to make one of those padded blockers. So what you do is you need the following items. A pair of gi trousers. Don't have to be black, can be white. Don't, if you don't have a pair of gi trousers, tracksuit bottoms, pair of school trousers will do the trick just fine. You need something to stuff in there. So some old t-shirts, jumpers, whatever it might be. And you need some elastic bands. So to start off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the gi trousers, just take one leg, and I want you to turn that inside out. Here. So I turn that inside out. And what I do, I take my arm inside, like so, and I put it inside the other leg, right there. I stick it right inside, and I grab the bottom, and I even this out, make sure it's nice and even there, like so. Now what I'm going to do is, once I'm happy that it's nice and even, I'm going to take this end, scrunch it up, Take an elastic band and band that together. Okay, put another one on there just to make sure that it's sealed up properly. That's that end sealed up. Now we proceed to stop it. Put my hand on there just to make sure I get the right area. Here we are. So, get my t shirt. There. Once you're happy with how much it's stuffed, I'm only going to stuff it that far, otherwise we're going to be here all day. So it's nice and soft, as you can see. It's, it's soft and solid enough. And I'll take this top end, you can either fold it in, which I'm going to do now a little bit. I'm just going to fold that in. Make sure the ties are inside, the string tie. Fold that in. Punch it up here. This will, this will form a nice handle for me. And more elastic bands. Just around the top here. And here we have our blocker for swinging. Like so. Okay, make sure guys, just precautions, uh, when you are swinging it, like I did in the video earlier, uh, make sure it is clear because otherwise you may have a slight accident. Okay, see you. So guys, <clears throat> so guys, I've taught you how to make one of these, now let's teach you how to use it. I'm gonna use my lovely assistant here, a second, she'll come on camera. Okay, so, she's going to attack me now by swinging this She's gonna swing it straight down to the top of my head, here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna slip out of the way. I'm gonna practice my slipping skills. So she's gonna aim for the top of my head, I'm gonna slip out of the way, that's one way. The other thing I can do, I can actually practice blocking. 
So as she swings down, swings down still again. Here, I can block and get my head out of the way. I did the other side, I'm here. The other thing I can do is I can practice, again, blocking if, if, it's, if it swings it around, so this way, uh, this, yeah, yeah, that way, there, so swings here, I can block if she aims my head, yeah, aims my head, not that way, <laughs> can't get the help, <laughs> just can't get the help these days, okay, here, is my head down there, Look at who I'm isolated with. Okay. Ow. Okay. Again, one more time. Here. Aim for my head. Is my head down here? My head is apparently down here, people. Okay. One more time. So, aim for my head. I can roll underneath it. Aim for my head. I roll under. Rather than bending my back like I did there, not rather than bending your back like I did there, we're gonna bend our knees. So again, she uh, she throws it round. And you saw that I ducked underneath as if it didn't even hit me, even though it scraped the top of my head. So one last time, I'm here, I'm there, I'm ducking underneath. Okay, that is how you can use your blocker to block. But if you get the person to hold it like this. They're strong and out at arm's length and arm's length. I can also use it to practice my. I can use the, if I hold the ends. I can use it to. I can use it to practice my knees here. I can use it to practice kicks. They hold it still. I can kick it. If you padded it enough, you can also punch it. So you can hold it at different heights. They so can move it up and down here, slightly higher. So if they hold it at head height, I can punch. I can practice my back fist here, punching here. Just be careful that it doesn't hit your partner in the face. They will not be very happy. And if it hits my wife in the face, then uh, she will not be very happy. And now she's just gonna grab a pillow from behind, uh, a cushion from behind there. Uh, that'll conveniently pay, place there for her. And all she's gonna do, she's gonna hold it at arm's length now, out that way. So this, I can again, I can punch. I can punch the, the cushion. I can use it to practice my combinations. And also help to help to practice mine to work my reach. So I know, okay, if I'm here, I can just touch it. If I get that bit closer, I can push it in. But I've got to watch my control. Because obviously this cushion will bend inwards, so if you hold it strong, this will bend inwards, and I don't want to end up pushing it so far that it hits her. That is not very nice. Don't do it. Okay. Right, so from here, just practicing. I'm jabbing, I'm reversing. I could, if it was held lower, I could potentially just punch the air and practice my kick on that. I could I could I could practice side kicking, so just coming towards me, I lift and I side kick the pillow, reverse punching. Um, the other thing she can do, if she wants with this pillow, she can swing it down. Or she can swing it at me. So I'm practicing my distancing, my footwork. So from here as she swings the cushion at me, I'm out, so it swings across. And I come back in here. So I'm practicing getting away from things. So I'm out, back in. Or I could, as she swings, I step out and step back in. She really wants to hit me with the pillow for some reason. I must have upset her earlier. Okay, so there we have it, guys. That is how you can use your blocker and cushions to practice your strikes, your blocks, your evasion. I'm gonna go through a couple of other things in a couple of later videos to keep your eyes open for other tools you can use around the house. For now, train hard, fight easy.